hybridizing dailies is a very simple process. You take the pollen from one plant and you place it on uh, the stamen of the other, the pistil of the other plants. Okay, so you take one of these anthers right here and you break it off. And as you can see, there's a little uh, fluffy pollen on here. Okay, this doesn't work on days when it rains and things like that. But then you take this pollen and you pollinate the other flower right here on the end of the pistil. Okay, now. It probably only works about 50% of the time, or if it's hot or something like that, it may be only 10% of the time. But eventually, uh, this flower will obviously um, uh, shrivel up and drop off. But if the cross uh, is successful, there'll be a little seed pod growing on the end of this scape, okay? Oh, okay. And the little seed pod will grow and grow, and it'll be uh, maybe the size of the end of your finger, or it could be as large as a, a little pecan or maybe a walnut. Just depends on the variety. After about 45 days, the seed pod will start to crack open. It'll turn brown and it'll start to crack open. That's when you want to harvest the seed pod. You harvest the seed pod, and now what you've got to do is you've got to break dormancy of the seeds, okay? And so you do that by taking those seeds, you take them out of the seed pod, you dry them, you put them in an, an envelope is where I like, what I like to do with them. And you put it in the refrigerator for three weeks, okay? Three week period of time is just enough to break the dormancy cycle. So now you're probably into like August, you know, or set, well, you're all, probably almost into September now. And so then you can take those and you plant those in the ground just like you would any seed, uh, you know, about two and a half times the depth of the, the diameter of the seed, you know. I like to take a number two pencil and push it down until the little eraser uh, holder uh, disappears and then drop the seed in. You'll probably get about, you know, 50% germination rate at best, you know, with this process maybe. Uh, and then all of those, you know, they may sprout and some of them may die. So, you know, you, Unless you're doing some very, very careful things, you know, your germination rates and your survival rates are not going to be that high. Uh, but then eventually, you know, those things will grow. Um, it takes, in Texas, here in Texas, north central Texas, it's probably going to take about a year and a half before you see the bloom. If you were to take that plant, uh, that little seedling, and put it in a greenhouse and really push it with fertilizer and, and other things, you might get a bloom the following spring, uh, but you'd have to push it pretty hard to do that. Uh, so, uh, but that's the basic process. And uh, what you get is a combination of the two parents. Uh, they're just like people, all right, okay? Mom and dad get together, they have a child. They may have 10 children. All 10 are gonna look maybe similar to mom and dad, but they'll all be unique and all different. And that's what you'll get uh, by crossing the <coughs> daylights. If you didn't want that